What's happening everyone, we're back today with another video on the ST. Nothing too crazy this week, but we're gonna be putting the actual fittings back on the coolant pipes because the Jubilee clips keep cutting through the actual uh, coolant pipes on the header tank and little did I know that you were actually meant to retain these from the original pipes. So today we're just gonna be quickly fitting these and then what we're gonna be doing is making a new brake servo line because the original one just gets in the way, it rubs against the catch can and it just doesn't look very nice. So we're going to be making one out of AN8 braided hose with all the required fittings here and we've actually got an original brake servo fitting off another pipe that I bought off Paul Bygrave so thank you to him. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see the pipes sort of look eaten by them actual clips themselves. So we're just gonna take the Jubilee clips off and insert the new or new old fittings. Oh, that's pressure. Okay, so that's the pipes on, we're just going to quickly start it up, make sure nothing leaks and we'll go from there. So now that's all good, we'll move on to the actual servo pipe itself. Okay, so now we're just gonna get the servo pipe off of the car, which is this one here. Just has a little push thing, and then it will come out. And then we need a 17 mil to get this adapter fitting out. And then the other end of the servo is, or the brake line is on the other end of the servo. So we'll just try and wiggle it to get the pipe out. <laughs> so as you can see that's the pipe out of the way all sorts of weird and funny shapes so what we're going to do now is go over to the device and get our new AN fitting fitted to the actual braided hose itself fitting which is AN8 to M16 by 1.5 someone's drilled and retyped this manifold because it should normally be quarter inch MPT so we'll just re just fit this in we 
use all the hand spinner. What we're gonna do is get our AN line and start test routing this bad boy. We've opted for a 90 degree fitting, which should work quite nicely. Okay, so we've got it in place now. So I'm just gonna try and tease this pipe through because we've got a ton of it here. Okay, I thought I'd film it with a GoPro. Obviously, got the uh, pipe sort of hand tight. It roots round the manifold like so. And then you see it just through here, rooting and following that matrix pipe. And then the idea is to get it so it roots to the servo up there and obviously around following that pipe. So what I'm gonna do is get it roughly where I need to get it, cut the pipe with some uh, heavy duty cable cutters, and then we can install our tidy fitting, which is literally just an AN with a Jubilee inside it to allow us to clamp to the original brake servo pipe fitting. So what I'm going to do is just quickly get it to where I roughly want it off camera, cut the pipe, then hopefully I'll show you fitting a new pipe or the new the fit into the new pipe in the next clip. Okay, so we are all back together. As you can see, the pipe routes along here and along the brake lines, and then up to the servo. The reason why it's wet is because I sprayed a bit of WD whilst it was running, just to do a leak test, and we were all good on that note. And then, as you can somewhat see, right down, the pipe runs across, Round to the front of the manifold here and on top. I think for quite, quite such a small detail, it does make quite a difference. Just tidies the bay up that little extra and stops the actual pipe rubbing on my catch can. Definitely worth doing in my opinion. And yeah, really, really pleased with it. It's a bit annoying because obviously as you can probably tell it's a different day the fittings obviously were wrong originally my fault i ordered the ones that i thought i'd need but unfortunately previous owner to this manifold had drilled and tapped it to a different thread because they're like tapered fittings on these so they're quite hard to get hold of as it is um but luckily to Torx, they were the ones who were able to determine what thread size just by looking at a photo that will give you an idea of how good they are and we got there in the end. 
unfortunately it had to be a and eight as well i was trying to do for an a and six one originally which you guys didn't know about just to make it a bit smaller but i don't think it looks too bad i think it suits the bay quite well a bit more tidy and up to do and i think we'll have quite a nice clean little setup but yeah if you guys did enjoy today's video please be sure to like comment subscribe for more content sorry this is quite a short one again however next week should be a bit more pleasing content wise for you and you'll understand why obviously i've been just doing small little jobs whilst waiting to do a big one anyways enough rambling and i'll catch you in the next one